Another uh, sample problem on hydrostatic pressure. So in this problem, we're given with the following uh, data. So in this figure, A is uh, pressure at A is actually 2,900 pounds per square foot, no, or that's uh, PSF. And then we're asked to find the pressures at point B, points B, C, and D, given the unit weight of air equals 0 0.075 pounds per cubic foot. So dimensions are given. Meron tayong six feet, and then four feet, three feet, five feet, saka two. So, ito yung uh, points A, B, C, and D. Air, ang mga... Uh, air is uh, dito sa portion na to, and then portion na to, and then this one is composed of um, water. So, simulan natin yung sa point A. Again, gagamitin natin yung uh, energy na equation, na yung uh, point, uh, energy at point 1 is equal to energy at point 2. So, pressure A, etc. equals uh, pressure B, etc. So, given uh, pressure A, we have 2,900 pounds, okay? And then you're also given with the uh, elevations here. Alam natin yung unit weight ng tubig. Ang unknown lang talaga dito is yung PB. So sa rearrange lang natin yung equation, magiging PA minus or plus, then gamma, ZA minus ZB. Okay, lilipad lang natin sa kabila yung, yung ZB natin, ng gamma ZB. And then meron tayong uh, equation na to. Uh, substitute lang natin yung mga given values. We have the pressure A, which is 2,900. This is the unit weight of water. And then you have the elevation at A. This is a 6. Elevation naman at uh, B is 7. No? Kasi meron kang total dito na elevation 10. Minus 3, that's 7. Okay, so evaluate lang natin. We will have pressure at B equals 2,837.6 uh, pounds per square foot. Ngayon, uh, napansin nyo na mas... Uh, mas maliit yung pressure natin at point B. Kasi again, uh, na-discuss natin sa differential uh, equation, hydrostatic differential equation, as your elevation increases, mas bababa yung, mas bababa yung pressure mo. So, at, as, for example, pag dito ka naman, papunta ka sa point D, mag increase yung uh, pressure mo kasi mag uh, ano ng elevation. So, yan yung lagi yung tandaan. If you work with uh, hydrostatic pressure, tapos ganito yung mga, yung mga problems, Pag kukuha ka ng pressure at a higher elevation, dapat ka mag-subtract. Okay? So, magiging subtraction kasi ito dahil negative yung elevation. Pag kukuha ka naman ng pressure sa lower na point, dapat kang mag-add. Okay? So, pag pababa, add. Pag aakyat, that's uh, subtract. Okay? So, point C. Dito tayo sa point C. Pwede natin kunin yung pressure at point C na idadaan natin dito. No? So, pwede lang actually na idadaan natin dito sana. Kaya lang sarado dito eh. No? So, dito natin dadaan, tapos para makuha natin yung C. Yung sa A at saka sa B kanina, uh, continuous lang naman yung fluid natin. So, ibig sabihin, pwede lang natin idiretso. Ngayon naman sa point C, kailangan natin idaan dito, tapos punta natin sa point C. Okay? So, from A to this particular point, that's uh, decrease in uh, elevation. Therefore, that's addition. So, PA plus ito yung pressure natin at this particular point. Unit weight times elevation or change in difference in elevation. No? So, dinerecho na natin. Yung kanina, 6 minus 7 difference yun, di ba? So, ito naman, uh, difference ng elevation ng point A tsaka itong point na to. So, that's 6 minus 2. So, that's 4 feet. Tapos, uh, from this particular point, paakya tayo sa papuntang C. That's increase in elevation, therefore magma-minus tayo ng pressure. So, ang fluid naman natin dyan is air, tapos yung elevation natin is 8. Okay? So, from here to here, that's 8 feet. 3 plus 5. And then, evaluate lang natin, no? Substitute natin yung mga given values. We have the A is 2,900. This one is a unit weight ng water, which is 62.4. And then, we have the 4 feet na elevation, or change in elevation. And then we have the 0 0.075 given na uh, unit weight ng air times the change in elevation from this point to this point. And then you'll have the PC as 3149 pounds per square foot. Okay? Sa point D naman, ito mas madali lang. No? From A, pupunta ka na agad dito sa point D. So that's an increase in pressure kasi nag-decrease ka ng elevation. So PA plus, kaya may plus tayo dito. No? And then the fluid is water, so unit weight of water times the change in elevation or difference in elevation. So that's uh, 6 feet na difference in elevation. You will have this one, no? 2,900 plus 62.4 times 6. You will have pressure D equals 
74.4 pounds per square foot. So, pinakamalaking pressure natin sa point D since uh, mas malaki yung volume na i-carry niya. No? So, yan. Tsaka mas malayo yung elevation niya, mas lower yung elevation na compared sa point A. So, again, bakit baka nagtataka din kayo na nandito lang yung point natin at saka dito. So, maliit lang na naman na difference yan. No? So, kung kukunin mo pa yung difference na, no? So, anyway, near the bottom and near the top na tayo ng point C at point D. So, yun lang. Uh, approximately 6 feet yung point D and then approximately that's uh, 8 naman yung dito sa point C. Okay? So, yun lang. No? That's another uh, application of your hydrostatic uh, pressure. Uh, yun. Sana ulit may nakuha kayo kahit pa paano. And then, thank you for watching and see you again sa next uh, video natin. Thank you.